welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Liz and this is Simply Homeschool. If you're returning, what's up you guys? Guess what today is? It's the day that I show you guys what we're doing with the seventh grade curriculum. <sighs> I'm telling you, you guys, this has been a struggle. Like, I think because they're getting older, it is so much harder to organize. So I'm gonna be super honest and there's not much to organize. They're really gonna have to work out of their books for the most part. So I'm gonna just show you guys what I have come up with. I don't know if it's gonna be helpful to you. I hope it is, but I had to bring you guys something. You know, I had to come through somehow. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you guys wanna check out the other curriculum organization videos, you know I have them in my playlist and on my channel. So thanks guys for checking out my video once again. So let's get started. This is what I have for the organization for seventh grade. I already did the daily guides and teacher manuals. So those I'm actually going to insert after this, but I already did that. That's why you don't see it here. So as you know, with seventh grade, the books are kind of intense and the lesson numbers are not on the bottom of the pages in the books anymore. So it's not as easy to just rip out the pages and organize them anymore. Now that the kids are in seventh grade, I feel like they are old enough to figure out what their teacher, either from the video or you as the parent is telling them to grab and what pages to do. So I just couldn't figure out a way that made sense that wasn't too much work and that it wasn't a waste of time. Like I didn't want to put all this effort into something when all they needed to do was grab the book. Do you know what I mean? With the younger kids, it is totally worth it. I think in my opinion to organize them just for peace of mind. So you're not trying to scramble for what they need for each day for that week. So I've basically come up with something. So I've already, like I said, I've done the daily guide and the teacher manuals and that will be inserted after this video. But here what I have, I'm basically making my sister two different teacher key books with all of the teacher keys. So excluding these here. So basically I'm going to be pulling out some pages out of the English 7 video manual that's here. I've already pulled out the daily guides and stuff from here, but I have my little post-its here. So I'll be pulling out some of the stuff from here, the answer key for literature, the answer key for the literature test with speed comprehension quizzes, and then the vocabulary spelling and poetry quiz key. Now I am going to be leaving this as is because it just, you know, it's so nice. It just doesn't make sense to take it apart. So I'm leaving this one intact just like that. Okay, and next off here is gonna be the next book. It's gonna have general science, the answer keys from Adam to us, and then the grammar and composition quiz test key. And I'm also gonna be leaving this one intact here. I mean, this book is gigantic. It's so nice. Look at the pretty gold spiral. So I'm leaving this one as is. So she'll basically have two, three, four, four booklets of teacher keys. Now, what you guys have been waiting for, the only thing that I could figure out to do to make it easier on my niece and myself is this here, you guys, this is it. So I'm going to be taking her science tests, her vocabulary, spelling, and poetry quizzes, and her grammar and composition quizzes and tests. And I'm gonna be binding these together in a booklet with different dividers for her with this. That is it, all of her, you know, her grammar and comp book, her vocabulary, her literature, it all has to stay intact, you guys. I'm sorry I couldn't figure out something else, but this is what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm gonna be starting off with the left side here. So starting off with a video manual for English 7, I am just gonna flip over to my literature grading and it's for quizzes. And I'm going to rip out all of these pages here and I'm going to skip the grammar and composition. You'll see here composition section. So GCI means grammar and composition. So I'm gonna skip that because that's gonna go into that booklet, but I am going to be pulling out the poetry grade form and that's just one sheet 
and that is all I'll be pulling out of this book. Next, I'm going to be pulling apart the Of People Literature Answer Key, and I'm literally just going to be using my cutter here to cut this out. Next, I'm going to be ripping up the Of People Literature Tests with Speed Comprehension Quizzes. And then I will be ripping up the Vocabulary, Spelling, and Poetry Quiz Key. Here are all of the things that I've ripped out the pages. So we have the reading quizzes. We have the literature answer key for the text questions. These are the questions that are in their literature book. Here is the teacher key for tests with speed comprehension quizzes. So that's gonna be divided in the book. And then we have the vocabulary, spelling, and poetry quizzes. Now, this is going to go behind the divider and these dividers have little pouches in them. I picked up the, or my sister I should say, picked up the Avery 8 Big Tab insertable pocket plastic dividers. So I'm gonna take this oral poetry grade form and I'm gonna stick it into one of these pouches here. Now, what I'm going to have to do also is first I'm going to make punches in this with my Pro Click. I love this little thing here. And then I am going to, here let me show you guys what I have to do with this. So with these, I'm gonna cut off the side here. You see where that seam is? I'm gonna cut right on the right side of that. So I'm gonna cut this off and then I'm gonna punch the holes in this with my Pro Click. And then I'm gonna use this for the dividers. Now that these are all done, I am going to start punching the holes in all of my little teacher keys. So now I'm going to start putting the booklet in order of how I would like it. So I'm going to take the first divider and then I'm going to stick the reading quizzes behind it. And then the next divider with the text questions from Of People. The next divider we're going to do the teacher key for the tests with speed from Of People. And then the last one here is gonna go on top of the vocabulary, spelling, and poetry. And what I wanted to do is this oral poetry grade form actually came out of the English 7 video manual. So I wanna stick this, yes! so I wanna stick this inside of here. Just like that. So this, I've made to go on top of this. This is gonna be for my sister. This breaks down what teacher keys are gonna be inside and who this belongs to. And then I went ahead and laminated a black card stock and I'm gonna stick that on the back. here for the teacher keys. I've printed out the four labels that go along with this that I'm gonna put in the little tabs. And then this one is done, and then I'm gonna get started on the second one. <laughs> Next up are these three booklets here. Um, this is going to be the Knotgrass Lesson Review. This is the General Science from Apologia. I have test keys in here and I also have the actual tests. And then in this one, this is the test key and the quizzes key for grammar and composition. So I'll be making a book for that. I've already printed out what is going to be inside of this. I've already laminated both front and back. And I already have the binding. And I have already printed out the labels for this one as well. They are here and I have the little dividers here that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started ripping these apart and then I'll put the book together. So I just wanted to point out that I am gonna be pulling out the grammar and comp out of the video manual for English 7. 
These are different outline grade forms that you're gonna be doing with your child's work. So I'm gonna rip these out and these are going to go in this teacher key as well. Here are the booklets that I ripped apart that are gonna be in this answer key. So we are going to have the grammar and composition quizzes tests plus the grade and evaluation forms. This was from the video manual. And then we have science and from Adam to us. So what I was going to do was this is for knot grass. I'll be putting it in one of the little pockets with the knot grass. And then this reading record was actually behind the grammar composition. So I'll be putting this in that pocket. So now I'm just gonna start putting the booklet together. Here's the other one. So grammar and comp tests, apologia and not grass. So here is your grammar and quizzes. This is the teacher key. These are the forms. This is gonna be her science. And then the last one here is going to be her history for not grass. And here's her answer keys. So this is the second teacher key booklet. Originally we had talked, my sister and I, and we were just going to leave these test keys as is, but I'm going to take these apart and I'm gonna put them in one little booklet together and include this into the test keys that I am doing for her. I'm also gonna be putting these test keys into my niece's test booklet for her. So here it is. Here are the teacher keys for Life of Christ tests and Exodus tests. So now I'm just gonna make a front and back cover out of cardstock and then I will be binding it with a divider. For this setup here that I'm doing for this book, I'm just gonna use the five tab dividers. They were 69 cents from Walmart. So I'm just gonna take this first one here and use that. And that's all I need for this. So I'll save these for another book that I'm going to be using. So with this, I am going to have to cut off the three holes and then do the, the hole punches from my pro click. So I'm gonna do that now. I decided to use one of the other dividers because when I'm doing my niece's other set of tests and quizzes booklet, I'm gonna need three dividers. So what I did was I took one from here and one from here, and then I'm gonna use these for her other booklet instead of wasting them, and I like how they're spread out. So I just wanted to point that out because you guys are gonna be like, wait a second, that thing was yellow, but now it is orange. So I have everything ready here. So what I'm basically going to do is this is going to be the back cover, but I always put the back on the front. And then here's the Exodus and Life of Christ test keys. It's for, this is Juju seventh grade, that's her nickname. But this is so my sister knows that this is hers and not her other daughters. And then it is going to start off with Exodus tests and then there's gonna be this divider, and then it's gonna be the life of Christ. So finally, I am gonna be putting together the tests for my niece. These are the three different subjects that are gonna be in this one book. I've already made the cover and the back cover for her booklet. I've done it in yellow. This is her favorite color. So it just says tests and quizzes, and then it shows grammar and comp quizzes and tests, vocabulary, spelling, and poetry quizzes, and apologias, general science tests. So she'll know when she picks up this booklet that these are what's inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking these books apart here cleaning up the edges with my little scrapbooking cutter, and then I'm gonna start punching holes. Here is the finished product for my niece. This is her tests and quizzes. This is what's inside. I've done little dividers for her. Here's her grammar. 
Here is her vocabulary, spelling, and poetry quizzes. And then here is her science tests. And that is it for this book. Putting together is her Exodus and Life of Christ Bible. These are her tests as well. So these will be in a booklet together. So now this is all punched out and ready to be put into this book. So I'm gonna go ahead and bind this all together. Here is my niece's test for Bible. The front portion is Exodus, the back portion is Life of Christ. So two things, when you guys are binding these and you're cutting out the paper, they are super sharp. So I would definitely round off these corners here. And another thing, if you guys are gonna get dividers, I would not suggest doing the ones with these dark colors here. It's so hard to see, well, at least it is for me. I don't know, but my niece will be able to see well, but it's it's just really dark. I would rather it a little lighter. I think I have to trim that. Look at that, that's driving me nuts. Okay, so that is this one. So we are going to start with English 7 video manual. This is gonna be all of my niece's language arts. This is Bible through Rebecca. This is Apology as General Science and Not Grasses from Adam to Us. Starting off with the video manual through Abeka, I'm going to rip out all of the beginning pages here, all of the introduction, moving on all the way through these pages here. It just breaks down the procedures for grading, and then I will rip all the way up to the daily guides. So the front portion I'm going to rip out, and then I'm also in the back here, don't mind all my little post-its, that's how I know what I'm doing. Um, and then I'm going to rip out all of these pages here from the Appendix C. These are more home teacher materials, as well as the progress reports. So I've ripped out those pages that I showed you from the video manual. Now I'm gonna be moving on to Bible 7, and I'm gonna do the same thing. All of the instructional pages I'm going to tear out of the book in the front of the book, and then there's some more in the back of the book as well, right here. So I wanted to point out that when I pulled out the progress reports, we are unaccredited. So I just pulled out the copies that show home teachers copy, and then I left the progress reports that would be mailed back to Abeka in here. I'm gonna see if my sister wants it. I'm not sure if she will, um, maybe just for backup. Now, what I'm going to do is, let me just show you guys the Apologia. So we have the Apologia's assignments here that we're going to be using. And then we also have this lab supply list that we will be using as well. And then, oops, this is part of the lab. And then for here, this is all Adam to us, and this is from Knotgrass, and I printed it out from their website. So this is just instructional stuff that my sister's going to need, and here are the lesson assignments to tell her what she has each day. So what my plan is, is I'm going to grab each book's pile, okay? And I'm going to start off with their instructions at the front of the book. So let me move this up a little bit for you guys. Done ripping all of those pages out. I wanted to point out that we picked up this insertable pocket plastic divider. It has eight big tabs. I'm not sure how many we need. I haven't even added it all up, so hopefully this is enough. But these ones come with the pockets because I plan on using some of the papers to put in the pockets before each divided section. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to start hole punching these with my Pro Click. And I will probably have to trim this back and hole punch it as well. So now that I'm done punching the holes through the dividers, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start stacking up how I want them. So starting off, I'm definitely going to be putting the Abeka English 7. So I'm gonna start off with the front portion of the booklet. And then I'm gonna be putting in Appendix C right behind it. Okay, I'm gonna take this little post-it off. And I'm gonna stick this right behind the first divider. Now what I plan to do is I'm not sure if my sister's going to want this in the front pocket here or if she's gonna want it in the very back. So we'll just stick that there, okay? So 
After this portion, which is the English, I'm going to stick another divider. So here's the Bible. I'm gonna be putting in the first part of the Bible behind here. And then I'm also going to be putting in the home teacher's information. Okay, so that ends for Appendix B. And then for Appendix A, I think I'm going to be sticking the Bible verses into the divider, okay? So let me cut this back. And I'm gonna stick the Bible memory verses there, okay? So now that I'm done with Bible, I'm sticking this right on top of the English. And I'm going to cut off the sides here as well. Put this in with the English 7 progress reports. So I'll just stick it right behind it. I don't know if I like the way that looks, so I may change that. But, so after Bible, we are going to take Apologia. So we need another one of the dividers. And before we go any further with Apologia, these are going to be the lab supply lists that she's going to need to know what her daughter needs for the experiment. So I'm going to cut a little bit off the side here so that this can go into the divider just like we did with the progress report and the, and the passages through Bible. So this is gonna go like that. It's gonna go on top of the Bible and then I'm gonna put the Apologia instructions there. The next subject is going to be from Adam to us. So I'm just gonna stick a new divider there and then I'm gonna stick the front page of the from Adam to us along with the instructions that she'll need. So that is the front part of this booklet, okay? So we're done with the front part. Now we're going to start with the assignments. So I'm gonna put this aside Next up, we have the English 7 video manual again. And what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start tearing out the pages for the daily guide. So these will all be taken out up to 170. And that is going to end right here, okay? So this is all I'm going to be pulling out of this booklet. I'm saving the rest here where I have my tabs. This is gonna be going into teacher keys, okay? So I'm gonna start off by ripping all of these out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and tear out all of the Bible 7 daily guides. It's basically the last thing in this booklet because we are not accredited, but the rest of these I'm going to pull out. So here we have the daily guides or the daily assignments for English, Bible, history, and science. So I'm gonna be punching holes throughout these here and then I will be putting them into the divider booklet as well. Now that these are all hole punched, I'm going to start separating them into the dividers. So I'm gonna put the stack that we already have here and flip it upside down. So the next set is going to be of the English 7 Daily Guides. So I'm just gonna flip this over here Next up is going to be Bible. And then we have Apologia. And last but not least, we have History. So this is going to be my sister's daily guides and all of her instructions that she needs for grading and how to administer tests. So everything's gonna be in one place. Now I will mention she does have a few other subjects that are not in this stack here. She's gonna be doing teaching textbooks so it doesn't need to be in this. She's going to be doing a couple electives um, that do not need to be in here as well. But I figured having everything in one place would be cool so that she can actually just go into this book to fill out her calendar for that week or the next day, however she's gonna be doing her planning. But I wanted to have it all in one place for her. Now, I did wanna mention that this does not have to be done just with this curriculum that I have here. You can do it with any curriculum that you purchase. Just put all of the teaching aids for yourself as far as the grading and the instructions and how to administer things 
instructional guides like that put in here and then do your daily assignments in here and you could do it with any curriculum. So next I'm just gonna put it into a little booklet. I'm going to laminate a front sheet and a back sheet and then I'm going to hole punch it and then bind it together. Here is the finished product. So I printed out a front cover and just typed up daily guides and teacher manual for Juju seventh grade. So this is just cardstock and I laminated it with a plastic laminate sheet. And then the front part here is the progress reports. And then it's gonna go into English and I've typed up what the items are. So the next set is, or what the section is, I'm sorry. So the next section is Bible. And at the front here, I went ahead and put in the passages that my niece will be learning throughout the year. This next part is general science. These are the manuals here. This is the manual. And then this is the lab supply list that my sister will need. Here is from Adam to us. This is gonna be the manual that she's going to use. And then the next one here is English lessons. And then Bible lessons, general science lessons and then her from Adam to us lesson. So everything is put together in one place. She will have a couple other um, like little teacher manuals that are from her teaching textbook. I believe the maturation has its own little guide. Well, it does because I printed it out. So maturation through the good and the beautiful, it has its own manual and lessons that are all like planned together. So she'll use that. And then she will be doing some electives. So those aren't included in these, but these are her main core subjects, I would say, except for the math, of course. So you can do this with any curriculum, just as long as you have guides and you have lesson plans, you can put them all together and you do not need to bind them at all. You can put them in a binder. Now, the only thing I will say about the binding is the largest spine that I have only holds up to 110. And I'm not sure if that's with all binding with ProClick is it only goes up to 110, but that's as far up as I can find. So you have to be careful on how many pages you put into the book to make sure that it's going to fit. I mean, you can do multiple books. That's what I did with my daughter's lesson planning for her third grade. And so it just depends on you. If you don't wanna spend the extra money, then I would just say do it in a binder if you like this idea, just keeping them all together. I like it because everything is in one place and I just love that. I feel like it makes it so much easier when you grab your planner and you grab a book and you just go through it and you plan out your week or your day, however you plan. Here it is, you guys. So here is the daily guides and teacher manual. Here are the two teacher keys that I kept intact. Here are the three teacher keys down here that I put together. We have the Exodus and Life of Christ. These are the test keys. We have the teacher keys for English, the reading quizzes of people, literature, text questions, of people, literature, tests with speed and comp quizzes, vocabulary, spelling, and poetry quizzes. This one here has grammar and comp quizzes and tests. Apology is general science tests and not grass from Adam to us lesson reviews. So if we were to have kept these in separate books, we would have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine books. And instead we have three. So I feel like I did a pretty good job on narrowing these down. And then with the daily guides and teacher manuals, I would have had to have, these would have all, so one, two, three, four. There's four different daily guides and teacher manuals in this one book. So I feel like this will help my sister a lot not having to go through so many different books. Now, like I said at the beginning, she will still have her math, she'll still have her maturation, any electives that she does on the side, she'll obviously have separate. And then what I came up with for my niece is just these test books. 
that's it you guys all of her regular books are still intact but i did come up with doing the tests and quizzes these would have been in three separate books and then the exodus and life of christ would have been in two separate books i feel like that helps a little bit for her and she'll know where to go with the tests it'll be easy it'll all be together so that's it. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I really am trying my hardest to keep these down to a minimum amount of time. It's pretty hard, but I hope that it all made sense for you guys. Now you can do this with any type of curriculum. I just keep the tests and quizzes together. I keep the daily lessons and the manuals together. And then I keep all of the teacher keys together basically. So if you have a variety of different curriculums, you can do this. And if you don't have a binding machine, you don't need one. Just use binders. Um, they work just as well. And you know, you may like binders better because say I was going to give her this test. You can take this apart and take it out and then put it back together, but you can do that with binders super easy. So just depending on what you like. I'm not sure if my sister's keeping this intact and she's just gonna have her work through each test. We are gonna be in the same room as them while they are testing and while they're doing school. So I don't see her being able to flip to the beginning of the book to look at answers. And I don't think she'd do it anyways, but we are in the same room. So if that's a concern for you guys, I would think about it depending on if you guys do school together or if they're in a separate room. I'm not sure, you know, as they get older, you may want to have something easier to just pull out like a binder. All right, you guys, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I know it's not crazy organized, but it's as organized as it's gonna get. Our kids are gonna have to just learn how to organize on their own a little bit, right? Independence is key in this life, so this is where it starts. Um, but that's it for you guys today. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the subscribe, the like, and the notification bell, and I hope that you become a part of our YouTube homeschooling family. I have a bunch of new homeschooling content coming out this year. I'm so excited for this year. So yeah. All right, you guys be safe and be blessed. I hope to see you back on my channel.